Hello everybody, this is Panda. I am back from my vacation in Indiana with the wife. Uh, we were at Gen Con 2019. That was loads of fun. Lots of walking. Why am I pressing the wrong button to load this? Apparently I was. Alright, so what, what, what the hell were we doing here? Um, I guess we just got done with this dungeon. Oh yeah, that is the bad thing. You have to backtrack. For whatever reason. Whatever, brah. Let's go. I, I don't even know what Pat is doing today. Alright, so let me tell you about my, uh, my adventures. In good old Indiana. Indiana! <laughs> Mind you, <laughs> I was only there for, uh, five days. Not even full five 24-hour days, just, you know. Mainly for the- oh, what the- what? Okay, that works. Mainly for the con. But, uh, we were able to spend a couple hours outside of the con. Looking around Indianapolis. And, um, my views on Indiana are based solely on the fact that I was in Indianapolis. So, this is not a very accurate representation of Indiana whatsoever. <gasps> so, please don't hate me if, um... Wait. Okay. Yeah, so don't hate me if my views are... Not atypical to how life in Indiana really is. It's just based on what I perceive for those five days. And it did, it did not help, excuse me, it did not help that I was in a rental car and wow. Let, let me tell you something, people, okay? It's just, it's, it's real talk right now, okay? So in California, everyone else in the United States thinks we are one of the fastest driving states out there. And they're not completely wrong. A lot of people love to speed. And when I say speed, I mean go past 20, 30 miles per hour on a typical street. Um, that's not including the freeway. Where the hell? I'm trying to get out of here. This is bullshit. So anyway, we like to speed over in Cali. I'll give you that. But if we like to speed over in Cali, then in Indiana, they love to freaking tailgate. Um, and then, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe this, but, uh, at least in Indianapolis, they love to pull out in front of you when you're literally, um, I I'll just say like 500 feet away, like going at the, the normal miles per hour. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Wait, what, what am I doing here? Um... So, so that's driving in Indiana. There are some crazy people out there. The freaking semis and big rigs love to go super fast. I, it doesn't make any sense. You'll see a sports car, and it'll be going like the speed limit or under, right? But then a freaking big rig or something transporting Walmart goods or whatever will just be freaking 30 miles over speed limit. No joke. It's I'm like, what the? What? What? <laughs> And I'm over here in my crappy little Ford Fiesta as a rental car. I'm like, Arr. um, okay, I, I guess. Hey, what's up, chick? Oh, that's that, um, that's a, this chick's mom. Are you still in bed? It is me. Here's the elixir. Thank you. Now I can visit. S oh, Spencer. We love Spencer and not, not the store. Spencer's gifts is weird. Ugh. Why don't I go to Aquaria first and look around? Where is it? It's through the focus tower into the northeast. Ba da 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 Can you give me buy now, really? Okay. I'm gonna go back to her and see if I can get anything from her. Take care. What's this? I what? Okay. I don't know where I'm going, friggin'. Maybe I should go take a look at the focus tower in northeast. Anyway, going back to my trip. Talking about my trip. Err. So we also went with my cousin. Um, oh, okay, we'll do some battlefields, I guess. We went with my cousin who was in some Warhammer 40k uh, tournament of some sort. Apparently he got his ass his ass kicked. Kind of. Uh-oh. What? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. This is bad. He did a roundhouse kick. So while he was doing his tournament for a day or two, we were just walking around trying to find our bearings. That was... What? You jackass! How am I supposed to get out of this? 
Did I just lose? Did I just lose? Wow. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Yeah, th th there is... <laughs> and here... Here lies the flaw with Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Insta-death if you don't have a partner. Um, no. That, that is nice, though. You can redo it. So, check it out. Sweet. Okay. So, we're not going to do that. We're going to go find a partner before we go do Battlefield, because that's just... That's utter crap. Oh, m matter of fact... Um, let's save first to make sure we're not stupid. So yeah, there was a lot of uh, tabletop gaming. There were some video games, there were some animu stuff going on, which we didn't participate in. All that good stuff. I'm gonna read this. Well, Pata, or well done, Pata. Remember, Captain Mac will be crucial to your crest. Qu crest? Did I say crest? I meant quest. A girl named Fee. What? <laughs> All these random people. But I'm going to Aquaria. <laughs> If it were me, if that were really me right there, I'd be like, um, I don't know who you're talking about. I'm, can you tell me something about Aquaria? Maybe you'll find her along the way. <laughs> like, okay. What the kick gives about this? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. He's, just, he's freaking worse than the owl from Legend of Zelda. Oh, wh why did I say it like that? Legend of Zelda, um, series. That owl's not bad, I, I guess, but freaking this guy this is some random ass kooky wizard who's like, this person's gonna help you. That person's not gonna help you. Maybe you'll find them along your path. <laughs> That's super helpful, bro. Like, honestly, what am I supposed to do with that information? Okay, wait, I'm trying to remember. Um, it opened. Wait, does that mean, is there an axe one? No. Oh, I think these are related to the dungeons. So the first one, okay. I don't remember getting a cane though. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. What else can I tell you about Gen Con? Uh, there's a lot of cosplay there. I was surprised to see many um, like Marvel cosplay, a lot of spider, a lot of Deadpool, a lot of Spider-Man. Hey, I got fire. Hooray. Hooray! Now we can burn stuff to crispy chicken pieces. Pieces of chicken. Chicken from Popeyes. Same thing with chicken. No battlefields. Get our asses kicked. We need, we need a freaking partner. The hell is it? Hey, are you Felby? Hi. <laughs> it's hopeless. I give up. Hi. I give up. <laughs> Aquaria is frozen. People are sick. Grandpa is trapped. And the world is going to shit. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is me. Wait, have you ever heard of a name of a man named Spencer? Oh my god, he Oh wait. Well, he's my grandpa. <laughs> What luck, let's go free him. But we can't, uh, why? W that doesn't make any sense. What is up with this writing? You're going home, that's what, Ah. <sighs> uh. Hey, what's your name, where are you from? <laughs> Isn't there a song that starts out like that? What's your name, where are you from, blah, 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 what's your number? Something like that, right? Right? Uh, am, I, am I crazy? I swear there's a song like that out there. Anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Phoebe from Aquaria. I think it's Phoebe. You are Phoebe? Then I'm going with you. It's, yes. Cat claw. Oh shit, I forgot she has the cat claw. Um, is this my, okay, it's nothing right now. Pretty sure you use those to teleport. So going back to the cosplay. Oh yeah, I have to, I'm sorry. I have to do this on this. Video, but we, we're gonna go to the battlefield and get some levers ops so a lot of uh, Spidey cosplay a lot of Deadpool cosplay a lot of people poke or uh, dressing up in Pokemon costumes which was quite fun um, it, rather than bore you with the details let me just tell you what eventually we bought we bought some board games from Queen games 
they had a sale buy two get one free on most of their games out on the uh, I mean displayed on in their booth aisle section area whatever you want to call it that was cool oh I forgot she has spells too um ooh no nah, it's just attack no okay. that's that's fair oh wow well we're effed we're effed in the A on Saturday because it's Saturday and it's 8 49 we are screwed though I, I'm not gonna lie we are utterly screwed oh that was nice I'm still blind after that what the frick let's say <laughs> why am I still blind there we go let's save again Okay, so we bought a few games from Queen Games. We bought um, one game from, I guess it's called Yellow, but it's spelled I-E-L-L-O. We would call it Yellow. But I, I, okay, I guess that makes sense if you, that is a weird name. Y Yellow, you, you need to get your, your naming right. Cause that's just, that's odd. Why, why would you, why? If anything, um, you know what? If people really want to call it yellow, I think it would have been smarter for the company to write out their brand as in yell, like Y-E-L-L -L in caps locks. And then, oh, um, uh, pff, hyphen, 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 and then a big O. So instead of jello, it's yellow. Dude, wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be cool. Anyway. Freaking, who the hell's calling me this early? I don't know, some, some California number, I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> so, um, we bought Legendary Force from Yellow, which is, I, it's slowly becoming one of our more um, reliable <clears throat> publishers. I, I can't speak, I can't think, I can't speak. I'm trying to kill worms and lizards and minotaurs and Dragons, oh my. Jesus. So anyway, Yellow's becoming one of our favorite publishers, slowly but surely. I know we have Biblios, which is a game we play often when we get together with people. Um, from them, we also have the Cherry cherry Tree Blossom board game. It looks super pretty, and it's just freaking, I don't know. <laughs> and then we just got Legendary Forest. I think we have one more... Oh, we have Kanagawa too. That's right. Um, it's not our most impressive amount of board games from one publisher. Not Yellow. I, th I think that goes to Queen Games now that we bought three extra ones. So, but anyway, we bought some board games. We bought some dice. We got some limited edition Gen Con stuff, like a dice tray. Uh, what else did we? Oh, we bought some stuff from Meeple Source. We bought two dollar play mats. Which I, I bought. I I, <laughs> I feel a little weird saying this, but I bought a really sexy devil play mat. I I, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I you know what? I'll just be honest. Out of all the play mats that Miniature Market was selling over there, it just that's the one that caught my eye. It's like, damn, she's hot. And like, two dollars, damn, that's hot. <laughs> So, so we went to go get the playmats at the end of the first day on Thursday, and oddly enough, they only had one more left of the sexy devil, and I got it before she was gone. It was awesome. <laughs> I felt real good about myself. <laughs> Best two dollars I've ever spent. No joke. <laughs> well, anything gaming related. Anything gaming related. So, what the frick? Let me go. It wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me explore. Uh, what else can I say about Gen Con? Oh, there was some stuff that we were not able to participate in, like I mentioned a couple minutes ago, related to anime. And I we didn't know. Freaking, the one thing, the one problem I have with Gen Con, with its booklet, I should say, not with Gen Con itself, with its uh, information booklet, because they do give you information book. Oh, shit, little gnomes. They're so cute. They're freaking Sanders, Sanders little hammers. 
Mm. Bye. <laughs> I have mohawks under those caps. <laughs> I love revisiting older games just to see <laughs> how ridiculous it is. They are. They are. Oh my god. Okay. What was I so was I talking about? Oh shit, I lost track. Something oh oh right, 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 right. Okay. So they have this maid cafe ja in Japanese style, so I bet like all the women are super cute in their little maid costumes and whatnot. And um Oh that that wasn't Okay, let me let me lead up to that. I'm, I just, uh, uh, God damn it, I'm 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 all over the place today. I'm all over all over the place today. Going back to those booklets. In the booklets, they do not give specifics. In order to look at specifics of events or anything that is scheduled, that is timed, that you have to um, sign up for, you have to look on their website or on their app. And I didn't know that. I was thinking to myself, okay, cool. So everything in this booklet is going to tell us everything we need to know, where to go for certain things, blah, 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 blah. No. And that was my only issue. But then again, I guess that's my fault for assuming that because I'm a dumbass. All right, fine. Fine. So, there was this Japanese style, or Japanese, yeah, made cafe, Japanese style made cafe in one of the hotels nearby, and we didn't get to go to it because, first of all, it costs money, I didn't know that, okay, and this is, <laughs> we only found this, we found this out on the third day of Gen Con, third day, we were there for two days, and we just now found out that, you know, oh wait, no, not third day, third day, maybe the end of the second day, it was close to the third day, but we, we found out way late. And I'm like, I, I want to go see cute Japanese maids and, and take pictures and, and make my cousin jealous since he's in the tournament, <laughs> in a tournament while we're doing this. I, that's what, that were, those were my thoughts, right? I'm like, okay, cool. So let's, uh, let's go get tickets. Okay, they cost money. All right, well, not too much, I guess. But the timing, the timing. Oh, these were, this was an event where... Why the hell did I use quick? Oh, because I'm confused. Damn it. The the cafe was scheduled for one hour increments. So <laughs> by the time we were ready to go, like all the tickets were sold out for all the times we wanted to go to. And so we're like, do we really wanna like you know, spend another hour over here when we could be on the in the booth area or exploring elsewhere? So it was really hard. There was stuff like that where I wanted to do, but I couldn't do. Frick. If, if I had to say, give any one piece of advice to any person going to Gen Con, it is this. Do your research months ahead of time. Not weeks, months ahead of time. I, I was already here. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Because then you'll have a better time. You'll have a better time. But uh, that, that is my only issue, was stupid booklet didn't tell me everything don't rely on the booklet ever just don't um one really neat thing that i enjoyed were was when we went to the uh the rooms they have rooms outside of the actual convention halls in which different publishers will have like free play they'll have learn to play games they'll have you name it you name it right and so one of my favorite publishers are Rio Grande games um, because they're just they're just fun they're just wholesome games that m make you think that are unique um, and sometimes they're simple but very um, what's the word I'm looking for that they're simple but accommodating very attractive because you're thinking you know games you like to have some sort of difficulty some sort of strat strategic um, measure to it to uh, determine its worth, right? Well, in Rio Grande games, most of them are moderately simple or very simple, but the gameplay is so amazing that it, you know, it's appealing to me as a gamer. So I play a lot of those games. Anyway, we went into that room twice because one, free food, <laughs> and then two, the games were fun to play. Let me tell you. There's this one bean game I want to get. A, a bonanza, bonanza, which we play with a couple strangers from Minnesota. I don't remember. Uh, to be honest, I can hardly remember what I did yesterday. So it's just it's tough. All right, 
It's tough coming back to California, having stupid jet lag for a day and a half. Freaking body's not used to California time. I've been... Yeah, ever since Tuesday? Ever since Tuesday, people, okay? I've been waking up at freaking 4.45. Why? Because I put on my alarm for 7.45 for when we were in, in Indiana. So that way we could have a good breakfast on time around 8-ish. Have lunch around... 12 to 1 and then have dinner around 5 to 6 because I love being on schedule that's just that's just me right so it backfired it backfires when I come to California what the hell is this my body refuses to adjust to this time <laughs> I hate it you dumb toads you bastards don't be showing giant toad attack with something fluid ew oh Oh, I do. Oh, I should have read that because that sounds nasty. Anywho, I'm so tired. But you know what? I already told myself, I think this was a couple months back, or at least a few weeks back, that I would always upload at least one video. At least one video a week. With the exception of the, um, the vacation I took to Indianapolis, obviously. So, this is going to be the video. Just me complaining, being tired, killing toads, killing Santa's, Santa's little helpers, and, and being poisoned, and reading things halfway through to make it sound dirty, and complaining that I didn't get to go see sexy Japanese maids. Freaking... <laughs> That's me banging on my chair. I'll do it again. Oh. So upset. Anyway, two more to go. Oh my god, I'm so tired, everybody. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> so tired. <sighs> I do miss Indiana, though. After all that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, <laughs> it's a different lifestyle than what I'm used to in California. I'm not used to all the green. I'm not used to the people being extra nice. Especially when I'm in the wrong. I remember at a, I was at a gas station, and I came out of the door a little too quick. I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, excuse me, I'm sorry. And and the person who I wronged, oh, wow, I'm about to die. Oh, frick. The person who I wronged was like, no, excuse me. I'm like, oh. I went away feeling like shit. I was like, damn, dude. I'm a dick. <laughs> I felt bad. And they weren't doing it sarcastically. They were... Genuinely like no, you know, excuse me when they shouldn't have they There was no need for them to apologize for something. I did oh, freaking, I Gotta heal myself now damn it <laughs> I miss Indiana <laughs> No, I don't want to save I want to freaking um, We both have cure right? Oh, she has more cure Okay, nice and I'll heal and heal Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll save again. That's, that's silly. Oh, one thing I do want to talk about. Just briefly. Before. Whoa. These scorpions look upsetty spaghetti. I don't think they got their Wheaties today. <laughs> he looks so defeated! <laughs> okay. Um, so. For all of you who have been to airports, you know how crappy airports can be. And I'm not talking about just security. I'm not talking about restroom cleanliness. No, nothing like that. You know, I'm not, not talking about any of that stuff. G genuinely speaking, airports can have just the worst feel, right? Whether it be from sickness, from screaming children, whatever. Or restaurants and uh, tourist attraction or tourist stores. What, what, what am I trying to say? Stores in the airport, you know, with their prices. N none of that. None, we're, we're not talking about. We're, we're just talking about um, what, what I want to talk about anyway. It's the overall feel of an airport, right? So, I've been to LAX. We went out through Ontario Airport. I've been to um, uh, freaking... There's a there's an airport in Utah I've been to. There's an airport in Arizona, uh, Phoenix, Skyport. Freaking I don't know. I've been to the Hawaiian 
airport. So I, I've been to a couple airports. I've been to Atlanta, Georgia, because that was where we had to go first before we got to Indiana, connecting flight. And let me tell you something about Indianapolis International Airport. The feel of it was so comforting and so like pleasant. I, yeah, I'm gonna use pleasant. That hands down, it's probably the best airport out there. I'm just saying. The the freaking uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just, just everything from renting a car, from checking in um, to check in our bags, from security, from the um, food court, everything, in, in the bathrooms too. Bathrooms super clean. Everything in the Indianapolis airport was just phenomenal. I, I, <laughs> it's all I have to say about that. So, overall, Indiana, Indianapolis, I should say. Now, I'm not going to speak for the whole state. Overall, I have mixed feelings about it just because, I, I don't know, having two lanes of traffic on, on a work day sucks. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, it's, it's an okay place. It's not bad. I like the green. I like the people. Um, I like the prices for groceries, especially from Aldi. Especially, I don't know why I said that, but from Aldi, I uh, love the airport. Um, it's not too bad of a place. I do have a little bit of mixed feelings, like I said, but it's it's not terrible. And if I was made of money, I would probably purchase like a rental. Well, not a rental. Yeah, maybe a rental. I don't know. I would want something out there in Indiana so I could go visit more often. Not going to lie. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. You know, there, there were some times where I was like, guys, I think we're in Stranger Things. Literally. <laughs> you saw some interesting things. <laughs> but, um, it wasn't a bad experience. And hopefully, uh, not next year, but maybe the year after that, or the year after that, sometime soon, I'll be able to go again. Because, freaking, I want to plan out next time. But this time it was more like, okay, let's get a feel for the con, for the surrounding, for our surroundings, stuff like that. And we missed out on a lot by doing that. But then again, it's like, it's hard to plan because there's so much we want to do. Here's so much to do. Oh, I didn't even mention freaking at the con, they, uh, they converted the Lucas Oil Stadium. Okay, that's how you say that. Yeah. Into an area just for... Tabletop games, N not not necessarily free play, but you could go check out like new releases of video. Or pff, why am I saying video games? New releases of tabletop games, older tabletop games. They had a huge library of uh, uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of games that you could check out to play with strangers by yourself, whatever. Um, and also they had an area for like this is the weird part. They had an area for laser tagging and for LARPing. So, I mean, I guess LARPing makes sense, but why why are we having laser tag at Gen Con? It, it didn't make any sense to me. But they had it. <laughs> That's the neat thing about Gen Con. They had it. I, th there should be a slogan for Gen Con. That slogan should be, we have everything. And yes, they did have an arcade for video games. They did not discriminate against people who only play video games. So, Gen Con's a cool thing, guys. That's what I'm trying to get at. Indianapolis is an okay place. It's not the worst. You know, it's it's chill. It's chill. Until you go into downtown, then things get kind of shitty. Oh, I got a magic ring! <laughs> I'm gonna save again. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm, I'm still tired. What the hell is this? Oh, elixir. <laughs> I, just, I don't remember. Does, oh, it pro wait, I can't. I guess I can't get, um, silenced. I think that's what that means. She can't get silenced either. I... Freaking, I don't know what all this shit means. I just... Alright, whatever. We're, we're gonna end here. Next time, for Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, we are going to visit Aquaria! Reminds me of that anime which I never watched, which now I should go watch. Aquarion! Anyway. 
that was me ranting about my trip and beating up on some poor unfortunate monsters in this game including Santa's little helpers. They're so cute with their little mohawks and green suits. <laughs> and cute names, Mint Mints. Mint Mint. Anyway. <laughs> I'm really out of it. So I'm going to head out. Until next time, I hope you are all... I can't... I can't... My words are slurred. It's like I'm drunk. Until next time, I hope you all have a safe and lovely day. This is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and I am Panda, and I will see you later. Bye bye